there YouTube, this is Boo, and welcome to my let's play of Portal. <laughs> I, uh, I was looking through my Steam games and found this, and I haven't played it in a long time, and I thought I'd play it, so, let's start it off. Yes. I'm gonna try and eat to the map to run every single one of these uh, radios. I forgot what you get with like a special message or something at the end. I forget. You do something to come down to the model army. Do I really have to wait the entire time? Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emits a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. I know this game is based off of that picture of the black You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth.
Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... What were you going to say? Dang it. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. I really want to know if you're right. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh yeah, I totally believe that. With all these cameras you have. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanence unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject one down here.
Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience.